a lot of people uh, ask about uh, what is the role of testosterone in women. And uh, it, it's a great question because uh, when we think of men, we think testosterone. When we think of women, we think estrogen. And yet, men also have estrogen and women also have testosterone. I mean, these are, these are sex hormones that are uh, produced uh, in our gonads in, in both uh, sexes. And so, um, so these hormones actually have a role in both men and women. Now, um, indeed, there are uh, women do not produce as much testosterone in, in nearly as much levels uh, as men do. But that's not to say that testosterone doesn't have uh, an important role. Uh, testosterone has a, a, a role in both genders in a similar manner, yet the, the set point, the, um, the amount at which is required is uh, significantly less uh, for a woman than a man, and and um, and and this is how we do see uh, sexual um, or sex-related uh, differences in the population. I mean, uh, uh, it is easy to notice the morphological differences between a man and a woman. Men tend to have increased um, uh, body mass, uh, muscle mass in their bodies, um, and uh, and that's in part because of um, the increased amounts of testosterone. So, uh, so what is the role of testosterone in women? Well, um, testosterone has that same role. It, it, it does increase muscle mass. It, it does help with um, uh, weight loss and, and increasing lean um, uh, body mass uh, in the same ways that it does for men. Um, and, uh, uh, and in fact, the difference is, is that small increases in testosterone are actually um, are more readily noticed and felt by women because uh, their baseline is much lower. So if you were to increase it by a small amount um, versus a man whose baseline is higher, uh, you increase it by that same small amount and you're going to have less of a, a total effect. Um, so, so that is one of the, the, the things. Um, the, the other component is that uh, testosterone uh, has some downstream effects. It's the steroid hormone, um, and uh, that those downstream effects include increased energy, increased libido, and, and sexual drive, and um, and and those are some very important characteristics. So uh, so when we think about um, women and testosterone, uh, certainly. Uh, every woman has testosterone in her body and, and produces it naturally. Now, uh, increasing that level of testosterone or decreasing that level is going to have um, that type of effect on, um, uh, that is, uh, increasing testosterone will have an effect of increasing lean muscle mass, uh, increasing energy, increasing libido and sex drive, uh, and those type of, of things that we would expect from um, uh, similar to the male counterparts, but uh, usually with less amount of um, change. So the question is, a woman who is, uh, has a lot of masculine features, is, is, uh, uh, is built muscularly, does that woman necessarily have increased testosterone? And the answer is probably yes. Um, although it's very difficult for anyone to say without doing some level, level of, uh, um, uh, of hormone testing on that patient uh, from afar, looking at someone, does that person have more higher or lower concentrations of testosterone in their body? Now, usually, um, uh, it, it can either be an exogenous testosterone, which is a supplementation of testosterone, or it could be something that their body is naturally producing because... Um, because of their lifestyle, their activity level, their, um, their natural genetics. Uh, now that's very difficult for anyone to say, or um, uh, if you see someone of that kind of body type, um, you can't definitively determine um, what the underlying physiology that they may have. Um, but certainly those are characteristics of increased testosterone. Now the converse um, may also be true. Now, now um, uh, a man who uh, does not have a lot of uh, 
lean muscle mass and instead um, uh, is obese, the, uh, there is a direct correlation uh, with that and higher uh, estrogen levels. And the reason being is that adipose cells, which essentially is a fat cell, the cells that um, store and 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 uh, and create our love handles, our, uh, our our fatty tissue areas. Those are called adipose cells, and and those have an enzyme in them um, called aromatase. Aromatase takes uh, uh, converts uh, our steroid building blocks into estrogen. So that is that last uh, conversion factor uh, that happens with the aromatase. So if you increase um, the amount of fat on someone, you, uh, on their body, uh, then you are going to also increase the amount of aromatase that's produced and convert um, our steroid hormones into estrogen, okay? And so you, um, uh, you will indeed have more estrogen um, by comparison to someone who has a much leaner um, body mass. And, uh, and in a way, it, it is an unfortunate kind of vicious circle, uh, that of uh, as someone's body habitus becomes more obese, they produce more aromatase, which then produces more estrogen um, and uh, a relatively less testosterone. So, um, uh, so the testosterone doesn't have the, uh, isn't able to affect the changes in lean muscle mass as they would. So, um, so that is uh, one issue that, that people may encounter because uh, as they try and lose weight is that uh, they have uh, gotten to a point where their estrogen levels versus their testosterone are, are increased and, um, and they're having a difficult time uh, keeping their lean body mass low. Mm -hmm.